Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Gonzalez Clark. Today we are going to talk about connecting division by unit fraction to divide by one tenth and one hundredth. So we're going to use a word problem, use the three read protocol to help us to understand the problem. And then I'm going to walk you through a solution that can be used to solve this problem. So I'm going to begin with the first read. After I'm done reading it the first time, I want you to think about the situation that is occurring. Fernando bought a jacket for $185 and sold it for one and a half times what he paid. Marisol spent one fifth as much as Fernando on the same jacket, but sold it for half as much as Fernando did. So I want you to take a moment and just think about what situation is occurring in this problem. I want you to pause your video and think about that. Okay, so the situation that it um, looks like is going on in this problem is that we have Fernando and he bought a jacket. And it looks like he bought the jacket for a certain amount and then he sold it for a certain amount. And then Marisol uh, bought, went and bought that same jacket, but seems like she might have paid a different price for the jacket and possibly might have sold it for a different price than Fernando. So let's just put that down as our situation. Fernando and Marisol both bought jackets. They possibly bought them at different prices. They both sold these jackets possibly at different prices. We don't know if these amounts are the same. We don't know if they're equal. We don't know if they're different. So that's why I'm emphasizing the word possibly. Okay, awesome. So that is going to be our situation. So now we're going to read the problem again. And now after we complete reading the problem again together, I want you to start thinking about the quantities that are relevant within this problem. So let's read it together. Fernando bought a jacket for $185 and sold it for one and a half times what he paid. Marisol spent one fifth as much as Fernando on the same jacket, but sold it for half as much as Fernando did. So again, I want you to pause your video and I want you to think about the different quantities that stood out after we read this problem the second time. Okay, great. So let's think about these quantities. So I'm seeing that Fernando bought a jacket for $185. Okay. And then, just putting some space in between this, Fernando sold the jacket for one and a half of what he paid. Okay, so these are two important quantities. And then we have pardon me. And then we're gonna make another one for the rest of the quantities. Marisol. Bought the jacket for one fifth as much as Fernando. And then 
Marisol sold it for half as much as Fernando did. Okay, so we have four important quantities here. We have, just want to make it a little bigger so you all can see it a little bigger. So we have Fernando's initial price of the jacket, which he purchased it for, was $185. And then he sold it for one and a half of what he paid. Then we have Marisol buying the jacket for one fifth of Fernando's price. And then Marisol went ahead and sold it for half as much as Fernando did. Okay, so now we're going to read the problem one last time. And I want you to think of any mathematical questions that pop up in your mind after or during um, the reading of the third reading of the problem for the third time. So let's begin. Fernando bought a jacket for $185 and sold it for one and a half times what he paid. Marisol spent one fifth as much as Fernando on the same jacket, but sold it for half as much as Fernando did. So now again, I want you to take a moment, pause your video, and I want you to think of any mathematical questions that pop in your head. Okay, great. So let's think of some mathematical questions. So one mathematical question can be, how much money did Marisol make? Okay. Any other mathematical questions? Hmm. How about how much did Marisol spend on the jacket? Right? We know Fernando spent $185 on the jacket. Well, how much did Marisol spend on the jacket? And in order for us to find out how much Marisol made, which is our first mathematical question, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to find out how much the jacket um, cost in the first place. Excellent. So those are our two mathematical questions. And now we're going to talk through the solution of this problem. Okay, so we have some really important information that we need in order to solve this problem. So first and foremost, we know that Fernando bought a jacket for $185 and sold it for one and a half times what he paid. So with that information, we are going to take 185, which represents the amount of money he paid for the jacket, and we're going to multiply it by one and a half because it says that he spent one, I'm sorry, he sold it for one and a half more than what he initially paid for it. So I'm going to take the 185 and I'm going to multiply it by one and one and a half. I'm turning this. I'm not leaving this as a mixed number. I'm turning it into an improper fraction. It is still a fraction greater than one. However, it's just easier to multiply this way. So I multiply 185 times three over two, and I multiply across. So 185 times three gives me 555, and then two, times one, which is what's underneath the 185, gives us two. So I'm taking 555 and I'm dividing it by two, which gives me 277.5, which gives me $277.50. So if we go back and look at the problem, Fernando bought a jacket for $185 and sold it for one and a half times what he paid. That means Fernando spent $185 and then he wound up selling the jacket for $277.50. 
Now that we know how much Fernando sold the jacket for, now we're going to move on to Marisol. So Marisol spent one-fifth as much as Fernando on the same jacket. So we need to find out how much did Marisol spend on that jacket. So we're going to use a tape diagram. If you see it right here, I took a tape diagram and I labeled it as 185. Now, she spent one-fifth of what Fernando spent. Therefore, I'm going to take this tape diagram and I'm going to break it into fifths. So by doing that, I need to find out if I have 185, how much is 185 divided by five? Once I find that out, that will, I will be able to figure out how much represents each fifth. Here's one fifth, here's one fifth, here's one fifth, here's one fifth, and here's another fifth. So I am going to take 185 and I'm going to divide it by five. And after I've done that calculation, I will get 37. So that means each fifth in this tape diagram is worth 37. So 37, 37, 37, 37, and 37. However, we're only concentrating on one of these fifths because remember in the problem, it says that Marisol spent one fifth as much as Fernando. So that means Marisol spent $37 on this jacket. Now, we're not done because in the problem, it also states she spent one fifth as much as Fernando on the same jacket, but she sold it for half as much as Fernando did. So we are going to take the amount that Fernando sold the jacket for, and we are going to split it in half because Marisol sold it for half the amount that Fernando did. So again, we're making a tape diagram. We are representing half and a half. And we're going to see how much did Marisol spend, I'm sorry, how much did Marisol sell this jacket for? So once we take 277.50, we are going to divide it by two. That gives us $138.75. Now this isn't how much Marisol actually um made from selling the jacket. We got to find out what her profit was. So if she spent $37 on the jacket, we have to subtract that from the amount sold. So once we subtract it, we are left with $101.75. So Marisol made $101.75. She didn't make $138.75 because remember, we need to subtract the amount that she actually spent on the jacket. That's not a profit. That's something that was spent. So once we do that subtraction here, we are left with $101.75. So in this problem, we, we, we accomplished many steps. But I just want to go back to our mathematical problems, mathematical questions, to make sure that we are able to answer them. Okay, so our first mathematical question was, how much money did Marisol make? Our second mathematical question was, how much did Marisol spend on the jacket? So we can answer number two since that's the part we did first, right? So how much did Marisol spend on the jacket? Marisol spent $37. And how much money did Marisol make? Well, when we went over the problem, we saw that Marisol made $101.75. So therefore, we can answer that question as well. Well, 
and 75 cents. So in this problem, what we did was we took the amount that Fernando spent on buying a jacket. We figured out how much he sold it for. Then we figured out how much Marisol purchased the jacket for. And then we realized we, we found out how much she sold how much she purchased the jacket for, how much she sold it for, and how much did she make off of that sale.